reorganizing pages, taking a sip of wine. Can't believe you don't include all this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because as said, these were not hastily crafted. There's tons of detail. Lots of care was put into these little suckers, which the boys didn't care about. Who, I'm, I mean, look, I remember, I remember being a child and perhaps, you know, not to be sexist or whatnot, but perhaps this is a girl versus boy thing. But I feel like I would have maybe tried to open them and perhaps I might have ruined them in that respect. But it just would not have entered my brain to start throwing tiny coffins at my friends. <laughs> like, why? Why would you? Here we go. To digress. I've got to digress briefly. Years ago, an old boyfriend and I went to his best friend's house for 4th of July. And I'm on the lawn with a handful of others. And we're playing that game where you toss the sandbags. You know, what is that game? I think it's called Cornhole. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Like, okay. Yep. So anyhow... The best friend is up on the porch and he starts throwing those little popper things at me and at others, but primarily at me. And I finally was like, can you not? And he looks at me like I was out of my mind for being irritated at that, just rolling his eyes. And listeners, we were all in our mid thirties. When I said years ago, I do not mean that this was my grade school ex-boyfriend and like our parents had dropped us off for July 4th. No, no. <laughs> nope. Yeah, I mm, I had to sit in the car with my brother and one of his friends as they had a slap fight. So, yeah, I I'm with you on the generalization that boys are a little bit more destructive. I just well, and you have two boys, so you can you can speak to this. I pray though, and I have faith in you that you're raising them that when they're in their mid thirties and they're at a social gathering that they're not going to chuck fireworks at another adult. That is, I'll make sure to set that standard. Go make a note. Okay. To make a note. Okay. I will. Did you have dolls as a kid? Did you I did. Have like, yeah. Did you like collect doll? Like, or did, were they for play or what? I mean, both. I liked having, so I like things in, in, I like things in groups. I'm not, I'm not, you know, OCD or something like that. I just, I didn't like just having one Cabbage Patch doll. I liked having a handful. So like there was a little pile of Cabbage Patch. I had a handful of, do you know, Precious Moments? Do you remember yeah. that? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I had a good stash of them. I had a handful of porcelain dolls, of course, copious Barbies. But yeah, I did. I never did like just having a single. I always wanted to have duos at, at minimum. They had to have friends. They had to have friends. Everybody was friends. No, no creepy dolls that you had to talk to or oh god no and now no. mother i should god y'all if I, next time i get to mother and dad's house i'll take a picture because it's up in one of the guest room closets for people to <laughs> mom has one of those like toddler sized jointed limbs old timey that hard 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 1950s like you could break a bone on them hard plastic from the 1950s the eyes blink, but the hair is like carved into the plastic. Oh, yeah. One of those okay. baby dolls. Yeah. So I'll have to take a picture of it next time I'm there. And we'll Definitely. put it up on Instagram or something. Oh, my gosh. But, it, but it'll, it'll take you back. And I have one of her old, like, old, old, old Raggedy Ann dolls. Like an Annabelle? Like an Annabelle. Yeah, yeah. Legit, it does. Because, like, the Raggedy Ann dolls of my generation look too new and perfect. But, yeah, this is, like... The red is more burgundy. Yeah. What about you? Yeah, I know we did have Raggedy Ann and Andy. I distinctly remember those. But yeah, my mom was very much like, you're going to be a little lady and you're going to collect dolls. And so, you know, every week I had to like dust them. I had dolls I couldn't play with. They were they were specifically for sitting on my shelf. <laughs> and I don't like I don't like them. I don't like them. I wasn't ever like creeped out by them. But I know there was one that I had gotten from my great grandma. And I don't know if it was meant to, it was just the way that the face was painted, like the eyes, they like look like they're staring out of the side of her head. I mean, it's like extreme side eye. It's almost, car you know, it's very cartoonish where it's like, are you looking out of your own ear canal? Like, is that how far you've turned your eyes? She was just 
always, <laughs> you know, just this little doll with this green dress and, you know, it's little hairdo and it's just always looking over to the side with its mouth, like just opened a little bit. And I was like, oh, I don't, I don't like that. Mm -mm. Don't like that one. Thank you though. But I still have it. It's up in my creepy attic. <laughs> And it's here <laughs> approximately 20 feet away from me. And... <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's going to come to life and start haunting me now that I've talked shit about it. Once it, since I finally admitted that it's creepy. I had a group of very interesting cousins, but they would, my mom would always be like, don't you dare do what X, Y, and Z do to their babies. Cause they would like, play hairdresser on the Barbies and the strawberry shortcakes and stuff like that. And my mom was like, if you ever, like, she was like, oh, don't you dare, you know, destroy your dolls. But one thing that my cousins did that I really liked, and again, just, I'm not saying, I'm not from a family full of races, but I am from the South. And so just you divine what you will from there. There's, there's overtones and undertones lurking around. And so my badass ballsy cousins, when relatives would not buy them various ethnicities like granted back when we were little there just weren't a lot it was mostly just black and white to my knowledge I think that's all I say mostly I think that was all your choices were mm -hmm. and even then it would be like eight primary characters who were white and then the one that was black and that was right. it yeah and so my cousins took to painting and I remember this specifically about the strawberry shortcakes they would just take to painting the skin, different colors, some a little slightly orange tinted, some more, you know, kind of ochre tinted, some brown, some, you know what I mean? Like they would mix paints and they would, and my mom just was horrified, not because of the race angle, but because they were destroying dolls. <laughs> it just, it, it blew her mind. Like, why wouldn't somebody take care of their babies? They're, they're, they're messing up their babies. I'm like, no, they're making them beautiful. You know, as kids, we thought it was fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We, if somebody ever goes to my grandpa's old land and starts digging up his gravel driveway, you are going to find a treasure trove <laughs> of, of dolls, of uh, He Man figures. Of really? G.I. Joe. <laughs> Did y'all have funerals? Um, no, it was really just, let's dig a tunnel and see how far we can get. Oh, let's put that in there. Let's bury it. We'll come back later. And of course we never did. You don't remember where that shit is. It's a gravel driveway. It's not like there's anything that distinguishes it. You put rocks back on top. Right. I thought, well, you know what though? G.I. Joe funerals, uh, toy soldier funerals make sense. Yeah. No, we just, we, we lost them in the battle of <laughs> driveway <No>. hill. <laughs> see, okay. Back to the destructive boys thing. My brother he always had firecrackers and like not the little poppers, like actually the little ones that look like tiny little sticks of dynamite, you know? Oh yeah. 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 He, because I wanted to be cool. Like my big brother, he would be like, I'm going to hold this in my hand while it goes off and you <gasps> have to do that too. So yes, yeah, so I would like have an open palm with a little firecracker in it and, you know, and then we would blow things up. We'd be like, Oh, let's put firecrackers around this He-Man guy. What of the villains, whatever, and see what happens. And then, it wasn't that we had funerals. It was just we were bored and literally in the middle of nowhere <laughs> with shovels and firecrackers. Yeah. So there you go. I don't know how we survived. I really don't. <laughs> oh, yeah. No. Like helicopter parenting, that just didn't hardly exist until more recent generations. It really did not. And I know that people listening are thinking, that's not true. It's been around every generation. Oh, no. No, friends. In, in the 80s and early 90s and such, you just you just went and did. Mm -hmm. Like, your parents were like, you know, just show, show back up at XYZ time and, you know, or call me when you get there, if you got even that. Yeah. As the 90s rolled on, it got more people, you know, and of course, cell phones started coming into play and beepers and stuff. There was more of that. But I'm telling y'all, back in the day when you were a kid, it... <sighs> It was just go outside, come back. Go later. outside, get out of this house. Go. Oh, yeah. No, I was found like climbing up on the roof and on our, um, cause we had the antenna tower that was right next to the house, you know, cause there was nothing else going out there. And so I had climbed the antenna tower and was just sitting up on the roof and I was like, mm, maybe three. 
Because it was just go outside and play, Tiff. Yep. <laughs> Where's yep. Tiffany? Where is she? Where? And I'm just giggling. I am laughing, thinking this is hilarious. My family all turns around finally and sees me sitting up on the roof. Yeah. I'm alive and it's amazing. I don't know how we all survive. I really don't. I really, well, look. Because like, <laughs> a lot of people did not come away unscathed. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> And you Mm -hmm. can tell by their behavior as adults that a lot did not. (laughs) They did not make it out. (laughs) At least we made it out. Mm -hmm. All right. 